What's up guys? We are ready for the big winter stunt trip to Spain. But before we do that, let's go pick up my brand new restyled van. Let's go. Let's go check out where it is. Oh man. Shit. Oh. <laughs> this is a good looking van, man. That's not the good looking. Oh, damn, it took us a while, right? Proper jacket, helmet, boots, the more you have, the better it is. And the last thing, a proper practice spot. Not a public road, but find a nice long stretch of a parking lot or something similar where you don't put yourself in the danger or somebody else. And that's it, safety check done. Let's go to the first step. Step one, you need to put the bike on the stand. If you don't have it, find somebody to hold your bike and you, you go sit on the bike and here I'm gonna show you a dry exercise. This is the first thing that you do to get a feeling how it actually feels when you stand on the bike. Before I stand up, few important things. If you run a steering damper, put it on the lowest power. I know it sounds contradictory, but it's true. The handlebar needs to be like agile and shouldn't be too stiff. Then the next thing is you need to reach a certain speed that the bike becomes stable. If you go too slow, that means about 20, 25 kilometers per hour. That's pretty slow. So the bike starts to get wobbly and you can crash so I suggest you to go around 50 kilometers per hour uh, for me that's in a fourth fifth gear and try to go a higher uh, gear so once you leave the throttle that the engine brakes isn't so strong than in the lower rpm so you can move longer while you are standing on the seat so that's pretty much it and now I'm gonna show you how to stand up in the seat stander position so of course we are riding fifth gear 50 kilometers per hour some like professional stunt riders they jump but as a beginner you can go slow on the seat with both legs try to go in the outside not too much together the more you go apart with the legs you have more stability so you're gonna ride in about 50 kilometers per hour and in that position when you feel safe you just leave the hands from the handlebar you start to balance and when you have a good feeling you just slowly go up and you straighten up and that's it now important question is how to come back safely back to the sitting position so it's a one smooth movement and it's actually you reach for the handlebars in the same moment you go into the frog position and you jump down back on the foot packs and this is how you get back on the seat let me show you one more time in a faster movement in a normal speed so like this you see i'm sometimes jumping down on the foot packs one more time, so I'm in the standing position, boom, like this. Okay, one more important thing, there's gonna be a question, what to do if I lose the balance? Let me show what to do then. So I see my bike is going sideways and that's a sign I need to return as soon as possible back to my handlebars and keep the bike under control so I'm just jumping down. That's when you see that the bike is losing control but you still can catch it. What happens if you can't control it anymore when the bike is real and you lose the balance? What you need to do, we always do that as stunt riders and I recommend if you learn that trick what to do is just jump down. You protected your bike, you protect yourself so you are minimizing the damage already. So you shouldn't be too worried about the bike. The next effect that's gonna happen, you're gonna land somewhere here, the bike still continues to go. You try to grab your bike, pull yourself with your hand to the handlebars and grab for the clutch and of course the brake to stop the bike. And that's how you can control the, the damage and uh, yeah, just Keep doing that dry exercise until you feel safe enough and then you are ready for the next step and don't worry it's a pretty easy exercise so let's go to the step two okay time for the second step let's remove the bike stand and it's time for the first proper riding give me a second let's put this on the side Okay, second exercise, and this exercise it's foot pack stander. 
That means I'm just gonna stand up on my foot pegs, squeeze the bike together between my legs to control it and reach the speed that I need that my bike is stable. For me it will be probably about a fifth gear, 50 km per hour because I have a pretty big sprocket on the back, 56 teeth and probably you will have a much smaller sprocket so for you it will be between third and fourth gear. The higher the gear is the better it is so when you release the, the throttle the bike gonna still continue to go forwards. So let's switch on the bike, let's do that exercise. Okay, first, second, third, fourth and fifth gear, 50 kilometers per hour, I hold it a little bit so the bike is stable, I release the throttle, I squeeze my bike together and stand up. And when the speed drops I go back and I turn around. Pretty basic exercise but it's pretty important for the coming exercises. So again, fourth gear, I accelerate into the fifth, I hold it here, 50 km per hour, I stand up, release the throttle, you see, and the bike continues to go. I'm holding the bike together with my knees, and the speed drops, I go back and turn around. One more time, you need to repeat that exercise until you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna accelerate third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, 50 kilometers per hour. I release the throttle, I stand up, I hold my bike between my legs together and I really control it. And now I go back down and I need to turn around. That's why it's super important to have a, like a longer stretch so you can have enough space to practice that trick one more time second third fourth fifth gear you're gonna be probably in the fourth or third gear because you have a smaller sprocket 50 kilometers per hour i release the throttle stand up squeeze my bike between the legs and just glide and go back pretty simple okay once you feel comfortable with that exercise you're gonna continue to the rolling frog let me show how this works okay time for the next step step three i'm gonna call it the rolling frog and why that name because we're gonna move with our legs on our seat and we're gonna stay in the squat position while we are riding and the goal of that exercise is to get more confidence for leaving the hands from the handlebar and to stay in that position and try to balance with the bike together so let me show you how it's done let's start the cameras okay like before we need to reach the certain speed where we feel safe about 50 km per hour go with both legs up and leave the handlebars just a little bit and grab it again we're gonna repeat that exercise few times and the goal is to leave the hands from the handlebar as long as possible and far away as possible so let's reach the speed 50 kilometers leaving the throttle moving the hands and just stay there as long as you feel safe and then back step down turn around one more time second third fourth fifth gear 50 kilometers per hour okay leaving the throttle go up on the seat with my legs and release the hands from the handlebars and just hold it and you can really feel how you can move the bike with your legs if you push with your legs on the left the bike gonna go left if you push with your legs right the bike gonna go right but don't overdo it because it's not really the goal to move your bike or left and right is more to control the bike let us try one more time before we go to the next step the last step the seat stander okay reaching the speed so you always hold it a little bit and then release the throttle and then you go up on the seat 
and release the hands from the handlebar exactly boom that's it that's the rolling frog once you feel comfortable on that trick it's time to move to the next step Okay, now it's the moment that we've been waiting for. It's time for the seat stander or the Christ Air. Name it as you want it. Important is, it should be a steady movement from the squat position, from the rolling frog. Just go slowly up and hold it there. Don't be wobbly with your legs. Be confident and just hold it. In case you, do, you start to lose the balance, just go quick back to the handlebar and back to the foot packs. Okay, let's go. So, pick up the speed. 50 kilometers squat position leave the hands go up and we are standing up on the bike and go back let's do one more as you see there wasn't a lot of steps before the seat standard is a pretty quick learning curve and yeah it's just to be confident and steady so always be careful that you have enough space in front of you okay let's pick up the speed third fourth i'm gonna go in the fifth let go the throttle squat position holding there leaving the hands Opa, you see i just lose the control so my bike start to do that one left and right and that's a sign you need to return to the starting position or otherwise you're gonna crash so the because i was too slow so once you get slow the bike starts to lose the balance okay let's pick up the speed squat position and stand up you see now the bike is faster as i see 25 kilometers it starts to lose the balance so i went down so i have this when I see on the speedometer that I have under 30 kilometers, I need to be careful and be ready to go back into the position. So find your speed that your bike feels comfortable and steady. Pick up the speed. Fifth gear. Let go the throttle, squat position, steady movement and go up. And we are standing. Speed drops, going back to the sitting position that was the seat standard guys let's do one more man that makes so much fun <laughs> this is one trick that was the, one of the first trick that I learned on my uh, on my scooter back in the day okay 50 kilometers go up and that's it you see boom slower speed i need to go down so guys that's the seat standard who just repeat it as long as you feel safe and when you feel enough confident just go straight and up when you when you stand straight you have more control but you can go step by step from a frog position then a bit higher 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 until you stretch out your legs okay